It was meant to be a service of reconciliation, but that wasn't the mood of the people outside the church. As the Queen arrived, the polite applause was soon drowned out by the whistling and the boos. Several eggs were thrown from the crowds landing near her official car. The police stayed on the sidelines content with just taking photographs of the troublemakers. Some youths were wearing badges declaring their pride in being German. They didn't welcome the cameras. Banners asked the question, how could Britain ever erect a monument to Bomber Harris, the man who ordered the attack on the city? Placards marked the date of the fateful day for Dresden. Dismay and anger resurfaced here today. And I wanted to show only the Queen how it was here. Inside the church, the Queen listened to Prince Philip reading the scripture in German from St. Matthew. Blessed are the meek. Selig sind die Sanftmütigen, denn sie werden das Erdreich besitzen. As the Queen left, she was again subjected to jeers. For some today, there had been no reconciliation. But in Leipzig this afternoon, the contrast couldn't have been greater. The Queen was cheered everywhere she went. The city's Church of St. Nicholas was the focal point for the demonstrations that led to the collapse of East Germany. As the Queen listened to its choir, signs of tension had by now clearly faded. David Chater, News at 10, in Leipzig.